good morning welcome back to another weekly vlog um apologies for the end of last week's vlog um yeah wasn't in a great place well still not in a particularly great place but yeah anyway um so yes it's monday i am up and i'm going to try and get on with editing one of the videos i filmed last week so that i can try and get that up i don't really have any plans for today i do need to pop down to the doctors to sort a couple of things out um but apart from that just doing bits around the house so it's going to be a nice quiet homey day which i'm quite looking forward to actually because i'm tired and i think i just need a bit of a chilled out day so yes i'm going to get on with this editing try and get this vlog edited and uploaded today and then see i don't know decide what else i need to do <laughs> like really sunny and looks really nice and then you've literally got like rain going sideways <laughs> it's like it's almost like um like april or something rather than august Uploading, um, had some lunch and then I've just been on the phone um, to the council um, well I was wait I tried before I had lunch and waited for about 15 minutes and didn't get an answer um, so I thought okay I'll try again when I get back uh, when I not when I get back when I finish my lunch um, which I did and I was literally just about to like give up and hang up and then somebody answered so I was like yes it was worth waiting. Um, so basically, I am struggling more with the stairs and have been finding it harder and harder to get up and down the stairs. Um, and I'm also a little bit concerned because um, when I go and have my leg surgeries, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to get up and down stairs. Um, although that's not the main reason. The main reason is just the like long-term problems with stairs. So anyway, I contacted them to find out if there's any kind of help I can get um, and they are gonna they did like quite a big like thorough assessment and they're going to send someone out to put a rail on the other side of the staircase because at the moment we've only got one handrail so they're going to put um, a second one on both sets of stairs to see if that helps um, but we will we are also looking into uh, getting a stair lift um, at the moment, we're not looking at doing that through the council. We're trying to do it through um, like another grant that my dad's found. Um, because I just think if we could get a stair lift that just did the first set of stairs, then if I'm having a bad day, I can use that to get up to the first floor. I can sleep on the bed in my office. We've got a bathroom that level. And so it would just mean, you know, if I can't get right up to my bedroom, at least I can get somewhere where you know i've got a bed and i've got a loo and i've got a shower and stuff um so yeah got a bit of advice from the council about that as well um so yeah that was quite a worthwhile phone call i think in the end um now my mum and i are going to pop down to the doctors because um basically i have got a like medical driving license which means it expires every three years at the moment um, and so it's due to expire on Monday, next Monday, and I reapplied for it and everything and the DVLA decided that they needed a, like a letter or something from my doctor um, and so they wrote to my doctor asking them to do this letter 
um, and said that they would pay her a certain amount, but basically the doctor's practice have said that that amount isn't enough for what the doctor needs to do. Um, so I just want to find out where things stand, like whether the DVLA have come back and said that, okay, they'll pay the right amount or if they haven't heard because I'm just getting more and more anxious about the fact that if I don't hear anything by next Monday I'm not going to be able to drive my car so yeah we're going to pop down there now and just see if we can find out what is going on because yeah I need to get this sorted so I've spoken to the doctors and basically they said they sent the letter on like the 26th of July or something um so Basically, I then had to phone the DVLA and, why went this way, because on me, there we go. Um, and basically the DVLA are saying that they've never actually received that letter. So um, <clears throat> the doctors were gonna get someone to call me who like deals with all this stuff. So basically I need to ask her if um, she can like email it or fax it across to the DVLA and then they can hopefully like get it sorted out um but i did say to the dvla lady i was like my license expires on monday does this mean that i'm not going to be able to drive until this gets sorted um and she said that there's basically like a section in the law that means that if your uh, license is under medical review as long as your doctor agrees you can actually continue to drive so i'm going to ask the doctor lady <laughs> If she can just get like verbal consent from my GP that she's happy for me to continue driving and hopefully that will be okay so watch this space <laughs> anyway Freddie's decided he wants to go outside so I'm just gonna go and let him out and go out in the garden because the Sun has come out you coming out and the weather's quite nice it's really sunny isn't it considering it's absolutely tipping it down with rain earlier so Mum's out here doing some gardening and Fred's going to have a run about and probably a bit of a bark and hopefully go for a wee at the same time. Right Freddie, you lied to me. You told me you hadn't been out for years. Mummy tells me that you've only just been out. Mum let him out when she let him out of his cage when we got back. <laughs> he was making out like he was absolutely desperate for the loo. You're a kidder. Aren't you? You're a kidder. So your mum's just doing a bit of gardening and our Budlia is doing incredibly well this year considering we thought it was dying. Um, and we've also got some sweet peas kind of stuck in here. But it actually looks quite, I think it looks quite nice against the purple because you've got like lots of different like pinks and sort of lilac -y colours which I think looks quite nice on their way out. I know but they still look pretty don't they? We've had loads of butterflies on this buddleia as well. Can't see yeah. any at the moment but that's probably because we're faffing about with it.
just looking through my Instagram likes, um, on my Instagram, obviously, um, and I noticed that Disney Find has liked some of my pictures, and she is one of my favourite accounts to follow, um, because she just posts loads and loads of Disney content, and just seems like a really lovely lady, so to see that she has been liking my pictures just really made me smile so I don't know if you'll ever watch this but thank you because it's really made my day when I was feeling a little bit crappy um, and then I saw this pop up and yeah it just made me smile. Something else that made me chuckle uh, was that I carried on looking through and uh, apparently Paul Borrell has liked two of my photos they were both National Trust photos so I don't know if it's because of that um, and I did check, I had a look on the, on like the account because I was like maybe it's just like a fake account but it is actually his official account so yeah, hadn't hadn't quite expected to get likes um, on my photos from Paul Burrell but uh, there we go Good morning, I look rough for today Ooh. Um, don't feel particularly brilliant but there we go um, I am just trying to take a few pictures for some blog posts at the moment um so I'm well I'm uploading some footage to my um computer can't speak today um from one of my cameras that because I haven't got any spare memory cards and this one's about to run out so I'm uploading some footage to my computer and while that's happening I'm going to take some pictures for a couple of blog posts um because I'm running out of pictures for blog posts and I need to kind of start getting back on top of like taking new pictures so yeah I'm gonna get these ones done and then this afternoon my mum and I are gonna go over to Basingstoke just to do a little bit of girly shopping which should be quite nice um but I want to try and get these pictures done before we go. Standing underneath the lights Right, that's the photos done. Um, I actually took some like third ones as well for another blog post, so I've got some good stock of photos now for a little while. But it did just make me realise how much I need to tidy up this bed because I just need a little bit more space for taking photos. And yeah, I've just been like. I don't know, I wouldn't necessarily say putting it off, I've just always had other things that need to be done um, but it just needs to be done because if I do have this operation in November, I'm not sure what's going on at the moment but if I do have the operation in November I may well need this bed to sleep in so obviously this needs sorting out um, but anyway, photos are done um, I am just going to go and find my mum now and see when she wants to head off so we are in Primark, um, just had a look around like the bottom floor, they've now in festival place, um, Bathing Stoke one, they've now got like a Disney range which is all together, um, so I took a few pictures of some of the Disney range which I might put in here just so that you can see um, some of the bits, but some really cute bits um, coming in for like autumn winter which I've been quite restrained about not putting them up, yeah, putting in my basket. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you the things I'm trying on. I've only got four things, um, but we haven't looked upstairs at the yeah. pajamas or anything yet. Um, so this is the first thing. It's just a knitted red jumper um, with this very fetching medium sign on it, um, and it's is it ten pounds? Um, and yeah, I just thought it'd be quite nice for like autumn winter because. I'm not a massive fan of all the like dark colours in autumn and winter. I think you need like bright colours for when the weather's horrible. And yeah, this is certainly nice and bright and colourful. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. I think I might go for that one. Okay, this is item number two. And yes, this one is a Disney one. I couldn't not get anything Disney. Um, but it's basically a nice white, slightly oversized sweater with Mickey Mouse. Yeah, he's kind of like the old style Mickey Mouse actually um, and then with his like fingers up like that and then it's just got a cross uh, across here it's really comfortable and soft and cosy and yes I like that one how much is it mum? Uh, <laughs> she can't see 
12. So that's 12 pounds. Um, but you're always going to pay a bit more for Disney. Yes, I quite like that. Right, then got this black jumper um, with the sort of, what kind of, I don't know what you call this kind of neck. Because it's not a roll neck, but it comes like just up to there. Um, and it's like really like stretchy material. This is mainly because um, I've got some pinafore dresses and I want stuff to go under them like when the autumn winter comes around and this would be perfect. I really wanted the cream one but they didn't have it so I'm just going to have to go with the black one for now. But it is £6 and yeah, would look really nice under like a pinafore or um, dungarees or anything like that. Right, this is the last thing that I have tried on. I wouldn't normally wear it with a black top underneath, but it's all that I've got. Um, and it is a black corduroy uh, pinafore dress. I don't love it. I feel like it's a bit short for me. <laughs> um, and I just don't feel like it's massively flattering. I would want something that maybe comes down a little bit longer. And like, because I'm going to be sitting down a lot in my wheelchair, when I sit down, it comes up like even higher. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to go for that. It's £13, like the actual dress is very nice, I just wish it was a little bit longer and yeah, so yeah, not going to be getting that one. longer than, uh, well no, to be honest it didn't, it didn't take longer than expected because it always takes a long time. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've looked around Primark and now we've come to Patisserie, no, yeah, Patisserie Valerie for a very, very late lunch. Um, I don't think I've ever eaten here before. I've had the cakes, but I've never had um, savoury. So I'm going for eggs benedict and mum is having scrambled eggs on toast and we've both got a chocolate milkshake. Food has just arrived and it smells amazing. So yeah, I have got uh, eggs benedict, which I don't think I've ever had before, so I'm really intrigued to see what it's like. And mum's got her scrambled egg and the chocolate milkshakes are incredible. So that was very nice, but I have now come up in rash. So I've taken some antihistamines um, and fingers crossed they work and I feel a bit better because I'm starting to feel a bit funny. Um, Apart from that, it was really nice. We are home now. I'm feeling tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was nice to get out. Um, I think my rash has gone down now, so thankfully the antihistamines work this time. They don't seem to always do that, but they obviously did this time, thankfully. Um, I still feel a bit off, but at least it's kind of calmed down a bit. I don't know what it was in the meal because I didn't really have anything particularly strange um so yeah I have no idea what I reacted to um but yeah after we'd eaten we had a look around a few other shops so I'll show you what we bought um when I next go upstairs um because I'm just having a bit of a rest now um and then we came home and now I'm just crashed out on the sofa I'm gonna put holly oaks on and not very much because I have kind of worn myself out I think now it's been quite a busy day um but no it was nice to get out with my mum and just have a little bit of a chill time um so yeah I'm just gonna have a quiet evening now but when I get back upstairs I will show you the rest of the stuff we bought today Okay, so I've just come upstairs to get my pyjamas on and stuff and I thought I would just show you the other bits and bobs that me and my mum bought today because, I don't know, I always like seeing what people have bought. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know whether it was me or my mum that have bought it. This camera will not focus at the moment. Um, but yeah, let me show you now. Sorry, I think this is going to be a bit shadowy because it's dark outside now, so I've got the big lights on. Um, but my mum picked up this wrapping paper in Primark, which is like pink and stripy with gold spots. And then mini mouse all over it, which I thought was quite nice. You get four metres in there. And I don't know if it says how much it was. It was like £2. So yeah, that's a pretty good buy. And then my mum also got, so this was from Primark as well, um, one of these baby sleeping bags to give David and Emma for Maisie. 
um, and it's got Winnie the Pooh on which is like the theme of her bedroom um, so it says nice for picnics bee tree 100 acre wood it's got all of them on she went for six to nine uh no six to twelve months because it wasn't hugely different from the smaller one um and then on the back it's got like this really nice um like winnie the pooh like map type thing which you get in a lot of the books um so yeah we're going to give that to them for Maisie because she, she's not really going to sleep at ours i don't think a huge amount um so she's going to give it to them. It was, I can't see from here, £10. And then also for Maisie from Primark, she picked up this little Disney outfit. Um, so we went for six to nine months because then that should last her right into like next year. And it's just a little sweatshirt with um, frilly bits with silver edging um, on the arms <laughs> i couldn't think what they were called then and then you've got mickey and minnie mouse and they're all like sparkly and, and it's like embroidered and it says mickey and minnie there um and then oh it's all buttoned down the back as well which is cute and then there's like a little pair of like denim leggings with minnie mouse um and black hearts on them which i just thought was really cute um and that was 10 pounds um, like I said, you're always going to pay more for a, like something with Disney on it, but I just thought it was a really cute little outfit for her to wear. And then as well as the bits that I tried on, which I think I already showed you, um, I picked up this pyjama top. So again, it's a Winnie the Pooh one and it just says, did someone say tea party? And you've got like a gold honey down there and also down here it says Winnie the Pooh's honey, no one else's. Um, I got this because I got some Winnie the Pooh pyjama trousers ages ago but I could never, like when I was looking I couldn't find a top to go with them and this is kind of, well it must be in the same range because the trousers have got like the yellow and the same kind of drawings on um, and I just thought that it would go so it was £6 and yeah that just came as a t-shirt and then because you can never have too many pyjamas um, I picked up this top um which has got Winnie the Pooh with a little like bow tie on it and I guess these are more like going into like autumn winter so it's long sleeved but it's like really soft so it's going to be nice and cozy um and it's just like a sort of sweat sweatshirt type style um so it's quite plain well quite I say quite plain it's got a massive Winnie the Pooh on the front um that was 10 pounds so a little bit more on the pricey side and then I actually also got the uh trousers i can't think tonight trousers to go with it so they're just like drawstring again they're like the really soft material um and you've got like the oatmeal and cream and then you've got poo and piglet on that leg and i think the other leg's just plain and the trousers were 10 pounds as well so it's quite an expensive pair of uh, pajamas from primark but i just really loved them and i like i don't know when autumn and winter comes around or when spring summer comes around it's just nice to get a new pair of pajamas you know i may end up getting more but i just saw these and thought they were really nice and actually they were literally just putting these out as i picked one uh, like the pair up so i think these must have been like really new but i was like i just need to get my hands on a pair because i'm pretty sure these are going to go quite quickly the next things that I bought were from HMV and it is the last three Disney DVDs to add to my collection. So I picked up Chicken Little, Make Mine Music and Saludos Amigos. All of them were 4 99 I'm just really hoping I can get these stickers off because uh, I don't know. If those don't come off I will not be happy. Um, but basically, if you don't know, I collect see if it will go in the uh, limited edition disney classics dvds and disney pixar dvds so i've got all of the pixar ones and then all of the classics ones oh gosh it goes higher than i thought um apart from these ones which i now have um the only ones that i don't have are so where are we Oh, I thought I had Coco. What did I do with that? Oh, it's down there. <laughs> I thought I was going to say, I thought I'd got it. These ones are um, duplicates of ones that I'd kind of got, but weren't limited edition. So 
I don't need to sell them or send them to a charity shop or something, I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, so the only things that I need now are, I need the Incredibles 2, but it's not out in the limited edition cover. And, oh, what's the other one that I need? Oh, um, Wreck-It Ralph 2, and again, it's not out in the limited edition cover yet, so I can't get it. So I have finally completed my Disney DVD collection, which I am more happy about than I probably should be. But I've been collecting for these for a few years now, and I don't know, I just think they look so nice with their like shiny covers. And I've got some of my little Simpsons there as well. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with them, especially because these were only 4 99 each, which is like a really good price. So yes, I'm gonna add those onto my shelves and I don't know what I'm gonna, I think I might next start collecting the um, like other Disney ones that aren't Disney classics. Um, so things like Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins Returns, um, the live action, like disney ones because just any disney dvd i love so let me know what your recommendations would be um for disney films that aren't classics but that i should start collecting or pixar or possibly dreamworks as well but i am running out of space <laughs> so yeah let me know all right i'll show you this one next because it's a bit of a oh i don't know <laughs> a sad one um but basically i have this teddy bear called Jake. I got him, oh my goodness, years and years and years ago. Um, I actually got him when, I think it was when I first started getting unwell and um, I'd been off school for a while and my friend, a few of my friends like went together, went to build a bear and they got me this teddy and he has just been with me ever since and uh, yeah, he sleeps on my bed and <laughs> you know, I know I'm 30 and I have a teddy bear but you know, I don't care. Anyway, this is Jake, and he has just got to the point where I've cuddled him too much, and his outfit, well, especially his t-shirt, has just got to the point where it's pretty gross, to be honest. So, <laughs> we went into Build-A-Bear, and I felt like a little bit of an idiot going in there looking for clothes for my bear, but hey, whatever. So, I saw this t-shirt, which is cool like a zebra, I'm sure I've said this several times on my on my vlogs now, but if you don't know, I have Ellis Danlos syndrome, and um, people with Ellis Danlos syndrome are referred to as medical zebras. And I saw this, and I was like, "Yep, <laughs> I'm getting that T-shirt." So I've picked up that T-shirt, and then I just picked up some little like black denim jeans to go with it. So yes, I can dress him, and he's not going to look quite so disgusting now i think i think his t-shirt is probably going to go in the bin because it's just gross the dungarees are probably all right they're a little bit faded but might hang on to them um but yeah jakey has a new outfit now okay and then these last two things it looks a bit excessive i have two boxes of converse shoes and yeah it probably is um however i bought one pair and my mum bought one pair for me as an early birthday present so i'll show you these ones first so i went for this design which is like um well, it's like a pinky color but it's uh, it's not like material, I don't know how you describe it, it's a bit of like a shiny type material and then it's got rose gold, I think it's rose gold, um, bits here and then on the converse label it's sort of sparkly gold as well. It's also got two little holes there which I have no idea what they're for but there we go. Um, but yeah, I just, I saw them and I thought they're really nice and I think they'll be quite nice for like autumn um and beyond but yeah i do like a good pair of converse so i went for them i think they were 55 um so those were nice but i also saw this other pair and if you know me you'll know that i am a bit of a magpie i cannot go past something sparkly and leave it and my mum saw these in the window and drew my attention to them. So I blame her for this purchase. Um, but 
Let me show you what I got. They are rainbow sparkly converse. Oh my god. How insane are these? I just fell in love and I couldn't leave them there. I have a pair of Doc Martens that are very similar to this colouring. But I just... Oh... I put them on and I was like, I can't take these off. I can't leave them. Um, they were also 55 and I just absolutely love them. They're so pretty. So yeah, I mean, they may not be like hugely practical. Like if it's pouring down with rain, it may not be a good idea to wear these. But I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't leave them. So <laughs> there we go. I have another pair of sparkly shoes, but they made me happy and... You know, sometimes when there's not a huge amount of stuff making you happy in life, you have to find the things that are. So yes, I I bought some sparkly shoes. And that is everything. So, I don't know, I wouldn't say I went overboard. Um, definitely did not plan on getting two pairs of shoes, although I did only pay for one of them. Um, but, there we go. I actually went in to shoe looking for some like everyday trainers because my ones are pretty much well they're falling apart a bit i get wet feet when it rains and i just wanted to get a new pair um and yeah instead i came out with two pairs of converse that i wouldn't necessarily call everyday trainers so there we go i still need to get a pair of everyday trainers but uh, never mind never mind um but yeah, I was quite happy with bits I bought in Primark. Again, it's like in between seasons, so they haven't got like all of the autumn winter stuff in yet. But to be honest, that was fine for me because I didn't want to buy too much. So I might go in, I don't know, another month or two and see what they've got. Um, because I do love it when they start getting all their Christmassy bits in. Um, but yeah, I was quite happy with, with what we got. Um, I can't remember if I said about... I looked at all the other pyjamas in Primark as well. Um, so I'm hoping that I will have put the pictures in back back then. Um, but if not, I'll put them in now. But there were so many... Oh, excuse me. So many nice pyjamas. Um, Disney pyjamas and stuff in Primark. So if you're looking for some pyjamas at the moment, definitely check out Primark because... I, I find it very, very hard not to buy more pairs. Anyway, I am going to get into my pyjamas and I think I'm going to go and have some tea and toast or something and, yeah, go to sleep because I'm pretty shattered. It's been a it's been a long, old day. Morning. It is... What day is it? Wednesday. Um, I'm just putting the photos onto my computer that I took yesterday for some blog posts and then I'm going to get writing... I haven't quite decided which one I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to start writing one of the blog posts. Um, and then this afternoon, I am going out for afternoon tea with my brother, sister-in-law, so Richard and Lisa, and Noah. Um, I originally got it for Lisa for her birthday, which was back in April. Um, and then when we kind of came around to planning it, um, we decided to bring the boys along as well. Um, so yeah, it should be quite nice. I've been to this place couple of times before but I don't think I've ever been for like proper afternoon tea so I'm interested to see what it's going to be like um but yes I need to get some blog work done first although today is just like running away from me um I rang the physio department this morning because I've got a group starting on Friday which I thought was at one hospital and then I got one of those reminder texts that said it was at a different hospital so I rang them and I was like can you tell me where I'm meant to be going um, and apparently it is at the hospital that I thought it was the reminder text was wrong um, and then I also had a phone call from the doctors about my driving license which is stressing me out no end <laughs> um, so basically I can't remember if I told you but basically the DVLA never received the letter from my doctors so the I've spoken to the doctors and they're going to fax it over to them again so fingers crossed it actually gets through this time um, but I've also asked the doctors if they can get my GP to confirm that she's happy with me driving because if she does that that means that I can still drive once my license has expired um, and my license expires on Monday and I'm just 
Oh, I'm just getting more and more anxious about the fact that I might not be able to drive. Um, and like, cause I, I lost my license is it like three or four years ago. I can't remember. Um, basically I had a seizure and so I lost my license and it's just, oh, it's horrible not being able to drive. Like, I mean, I don't drive, you know, a lot or particularly far, but it's pretty much what stops me from being housebound. So yeah, I'm just hoping that my GP will be, well, yeah, she'll say that um, she's happy for me to continue driving while the medical um, assessments are going on. Um, but yes, anyway, I am going to carry on with my blog work and then I think Richard and Lisa are coming to pick me up at about two because I'm looking for half past two. So I've got like a couple of hours, an hour and a half to do some work. So I'm hoping I'll get some stuff done. <music> So I've managed to get some of my blog posts written this morning and also the photos edited um, but it's now nearly two o'clock so I'm just waiting for Richard and Lisa and Noah to come and pick me up and we're going to go for our afternoon tea. So I'll show you what we have and what it's like and I'll let you know about it as well when we get home. Um, I've got my Jaffa necklace on which is the necklace that's got some of his ashes in. Um, have, I, don't, I don't know, I feel a bit worried about wearing it because I get scared that it's going to like fall off or something or get lost but it's just silly sitting in a box so I thought I'd wear it today and it looks quite nice with this top so yes I'm looking forward to our afternoon tea. Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they in my near and far Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are these sunflowers that my mum bought well kind of for me kind of for us um they're from my waitrose and she got them for 99p um and actually she did go in i think it was like the next day and they had gone down to 49p so she could have got even more of a bargain but to be honest 99p for some sunflowers that aren't even open yet it's pretty good um and they're in my rob ryan vase so i think they look really nice with like the blue of the vase and then the yellow of the sunflowers. I think sunflowers are one of my favourite flowers because they're just, I don't know, I think of them as like happy flowers and they always make me smile when I'm feeling a bit blue. So we had a really lovely afternoon tea at Beaton's. Um, I can't remember if I said where we were going, um, but it's a place called Beaton's on Crowthorn High Street. I think they do have some other shops in various other places, so I will link them in the description bar. But yeah, it was really nice. We had like so many different flavoured flavours of sandwich um and then we each got two scones each i could only eat one so i brought one home and then you choose um a piece of like homemade cake rather than having like lots of little cakes you just choose a piece of cake um and it was 20 pounds like per person so i paid for me and lisa because it was my present to lisa and then richard bought his and for noah they got a big like strawberry milkshake and a brownie and he'd never had strawberry milkshake before, so they were like, I don't know if he's gonna like it or not. Um, but they like went and gave it to him and his little like face just lit up and he just completely devoured the strawberry milkshake. Uh, wasn't so fussed about the brownie. Um, he ate a bit of it, but I don't know if he just wasn't that hungry because he'd already had his lunch. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. It was quite busy, so I'm quite glad we booked. I think, I think you have to book for like if you're having the proper afternoon tea. Um, but yeah, people were getting turned away because the place was just full. Um, but no, it was really nice. I feel very, very full now. Um, so I won't be eating again for a while. Um, and yeah, I had 
the I think it was like the white peony tea which was really nice it was like quite light I think it's quite nice like if you're having afternoon tea to have a tea with it that's not too like overpowering because sometimes I've had teas that are really they've got like a really distinctive taste to them and it kind of overpowers the food a bit whereas this white peony one um it was just yeah very light slightly sweet and I could have happily just drunk it all day it was really really nice um and it's just a lovely place I didn't really get to, I was hoping I could like try and take some pictures inside but it was just so busy I didn't want to sort of have the camera like taking pictures of other people so I didn't get to do that but like there's a counter um, and then it's got like loads of teas like on either side like loose leaf teas and it just looks really nice um, and yeah it's just right on the high street so you can watch the world go by as you have your tea and I think Noah enjoyed it like he was a bit unsettled to begin with but once he sort of sighed with his strawberry milkshake and um, like the brownie and he was like watching everyone like what was going the thing everything that was going on I can't speak um, and he kept like chatting to everybody else in the like in the cafe and making people laugh which was nice um and yeah i got home when i was out um i got another phone call from the doctors um about this whole driving license saga that is just doing my head in now um and basically they said they have faxed the letter over to the dvla so touch wood the dvla have actually got it now um but they said that my doctor wouldn't comment on whether I'm fit to drive, um, which would basically mean that as of Monday, I won't be able to drive. So I couldn't, I just wasn't in the right space to like start questioning it when they rang. So when I got home, I got my paperwork out and there's a bit on it that says basically section 88 of the law says that um, if you meet certain criteria, while your medical application is going through, um, you can continue to drive. Um, and one of those criteria is that your doctor agrees that you're still fit to drive. So basically, you know, I've been driving for three years. Nothing has happened to kind of prompt needing to, like, renew my licence. It's just the process of every three years it gets renewed. So it's not like I've had another seizure or, like, something or nothing's, like, happened. Um... So I went, down, I went back down to the doctors again and spoke to the receptionist and had a really lovely receptionist and I just explained that, you know, I don't understand why the doctor can't just say, you know, yes, nothing's changed, you're still all right to drive, I don't need a letter, I don't need them to talk to the DVLA, I just need them to say to me um, that they are still, they still have no problems with me driving. Um... And I kind of was, a, <laughs> was in a bit of a state and I just said to the, I said to the receptionist, I was like, if I lose my license on Monday, then I'm going to be housebound. I can't get out. I can't use my wheelchair because it only goes in my car. Um, I'm not going to be able to get to my hospital appointments, all this kind of stuff. Um, it's just going to make life <laughs> hell. I just, I remember losing my license for like the first time, which was horrible, but I could accept it because it was necessary because I'd had a seizure. Um, but this time, there's no reason why I should lose my license. I've not, my health, like there's nothing that's happened that should, you know, cause me to lose it anyway. So she was really nice. She went to speak to the duty doctor and I've got an appointment with the doctor, a different doctor tomorrow. So not my normal GP, but this duty doctor. Um, and he said he's going to go through it all with me. So there's a website that they can go on to assess your fitness to drive. Um, and he said he'll go through it with me. So I'm hoping that he will be able to just kind of give me that verbal confirmation that there's no reason why I shouldn't be driving um, while the DVLA are doing their like medical checks and stuff. So keep your fingers crossed for me tomorrow because if I lose my licence, it's just going to make life very, very difficult um for no real reason so yes anyway i feel slightly less stressed now but anyway i am home i'm tired i'm gonna pop the telly on have a little rest and just yeah chill out for the rest of the day good morning sorry about the light it's uh well the sunny it's a nice day though it's really warm um 
so I think we're just getting that last bit of summer before autumn comes along which is quite nice I've just come out of my group um had a good chat today which was nice I just realized my car is so dusty um so yeah come out of my group I am gonna head home now um, and then this afternoon I've got this doctor's appointment to try and sort out my driving license. I've been really anxious, like all last night, um, I just, it was, yeah, my heart was like racing and I couldn't stop shaking and I felt really sick. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's just about my driving license or if it's because I'm reducing one of my medications or what it is, but I wasn't feeling brilliant. Um, I feel a bit better this morning, thankfully. But yeah, I'm just hoping that this doctor is able to help and that I'm not going to lose my licence on Monday. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I need to have some lunch and I might do some more blogging. I'll see how the time goes and stuff. But yes, I'm going to turn the car on so that I can get the aircon on because it's getting a bit warm in here. And I'm going to head home. Oh, I didn't actually think I was going to get home. Um, so, so my usual like half hour journey took me... I think just over an hour um because there were roadworks and the traffic just wasn't even moving um and i was like am i gonna be stuck here forever <laughs> um but made it home in the end um i'm just waiting for my lunch to finish cooking i'm having a potato jacket potato today um what's your favorite jacket potato filling by the way i'd be really interested to know i'm quite a beans and cheese girl but sometimes tuna and sweet corn um but yeah so i'm just having a little rest because i feel a bit frazzled while that finishes cooking and then I can eat it because I'm getting a bit hungry. I've just managed to get a blog post finished and up and I'm just kind of starting on editing my weekly vlog but it has, well it's nearly four o'clock, my appointment is at 20 past four um, so I need to go and get ready and head down to the doctor's. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that he can help sort this out and means that I won't like lose my license while this is all being sorted um so yeah keep your fingers crossed for me my dad's going to come down with me um because he can help me if i like get a bit like i don't know anxious or whatever um so yeah hoping i can get this sorted and i'm hoping once i've got this done that i won't feel quite so anxious and i can actually relax a little bit but at the moment i just feel like quite strung up and yeah so i just want to get this done and out of the way and hopefully that will hopefully it will go right so i'm back from the doctors and it went absolutely fine um the doctor that i saw i've never seen him before um although i think he's been there a while i just haven't got around, like haven't needed to see him um he was really nice just like listened to like what the problem is um he went through like my medical notes and asked some questions and things like that and he said that he um can't see any reason why I shouldn't be able to continue to drive so he's going to put that in my medical notes and that means that I can continue to drive when my license expires on Monday um, while the application and is all like been going through and everything so that is a big relief <laughs> um, so yeah that's done um, I've just been doing some bits since I got home um, and now I've come downstairs and my mum's just got back from Marks and Spencer's and I just wanted to show you what she's brought. So I don't know, don't know if you've um, seen but Marks and Spencer's are doing this thing called Little Shop which I think is mainly for kids but basically if you spend over, do you know what the price like is mum? If you spend over a certain amount um, you get a little blind bag and in well inside them there are lots of different little Marks and Spencer's products but in like miniature form um, and basically the whole thing is that you can collect them and um, I think kids can get like a box to how like, put them all in and basically it basically means that they've got their own little shop anyway mum ended up getting one so I thought I'd just open it and see what's inside um, and show you so let's have a wee look I know there are some that have got Percy Pigs and there is like a Percy Pig piggy bank like mini one that you can get as well but I think I'm guessing it's probably quite difficult to get. I have got <laughs> a bag of peas. <laughs> Not massively interesting but um, it's quite cute like I think anything in miniature form is quite sweet. It must have like um, foam or something inside it because it's all squidgy so yeah I have some British Petit Pois 
which actually I would kind of prefer the big size <laughs> to be honest. Um, oh, and then it's got like a little collector's card with facts about Petit Pois. I've got a question, what do you call a smiling pea? Happy. <laughs> so there we go, there's some information about Petit Pois and then there's a leaflet um, which says on it, this is not just for any little shopkeeper, this is for an m and little shopkeeper. Collect, play and learn. Um, see in store for more m and little shop accessories. So you can get like a little basket, a little trolley, a little apron for them to wear. And then there's 25 different ones to collect. Um, and you get this and you can like tick them all off as you get them. Ugh. On the floor. If Noah was a bit older, I guess I think he'd probably love this. Um, but yeah, you can get all kinds of things. So there is a packet of Percy pigs. Um, you can get well, yeah. Apart from they're not real Percy pigs, so I would actually prefer a real Percy pigs. So although the little one would be quite cute, you can get a little Colin the caterpillar cake. You can get a steak pie, a thing of milk. Um, some soup, a pizza, some eggs, uh, a vegetarian something or other, I can't read it from here, tiki masala, some cookies, a sandwich, so there's loads of different ones and I'm sure there is like a Percy Pig piggy bank that you can get as well but yeah I got some peas so there we go. Um, so that was exciting. While I'm at it I've also today received my next set of Disney Wisdom pins. So it's these ones, um, so this is 8 of 12, I don't know where this is going, I say this every month, um, but these are the Bambi ones and the quote is, if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all and Thumper says that. So let me see if I can zoom in on them so you can see. So you've got Bambi, you've got flower, is it flower? Um, and then you've got the quote pin there and then this nice orange colour there we go that's my pins I shall add those I still haven't been putting them up yet because I'm waiting to get them all and then I want to see because I've heard that they make a rainbow but I'm waiting to see like what it's meant to look like on the flag um, so at the moment they're all sitting in a drawer but I'm quite looking forward to like having all of them and then arranging them on my flag because that would look quite nice um, the next set so September's set is Merlin um, which are purple ones, mum's just put down a book. You've been buying things again. <laughs> what is this? Peter Rabbit, Tickle Tickle Peter. Oh, Noah's going to love this. He's really into tickling at the moment. And he's got a furry tummy. A first touch and feel book. Oh, they've got like... It's like... Amazing, don't you? Oh, it's from Maisie. Okay. I think Noah will enjoy it actually as well though. Because he, like, he likes like the feely books and I think he'll like the whole like tickle tickle because he likes tickling. But there we go. Where was that from? Tesco's or Marks and Spencer's? Um, Marks and Spencer's. Yeah, Marks and Spencer's, £7. And she's got another book as well, which is a Winnie the Pooh book that says Hello Pooh, Hello You. <laughs> it's got a mirror and Winnie the Pooh on it with a mirror, mirror surprise apparently. Um, so it's like a little, actually Marks and Spencer's do have some nice like books and stuff. Um, but I like these because it's like the old style like Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore and everything. Oh look, there's the surprise. You can see yourself in the, uh, <laughs> in the mirror. I'm not sure if that's a good surprise or not, but there we go. Um, Anyway, hadn't planned on showing you what Mum had bought in Marks and Spencer's <laughs> book-wise, but there we go. I've got my peas and I've got my pins, so I'm happy. Um, I'm going to go and have a four to sip and watch Hollyoaks now, I think. Today has not massively gone to plan so far. Um, I woke up a lot later than I had planned. Um, but as my mum said, I probably needed the sleep. Um, so I've just had some breakfast, I need to get dressed. And then I'm going to have to have some lunch fairly soon because I've got my pain management Tai Chi course starting this afternoon. Um, and that starts at 2 but I probably want to leave about 1ish so that 
I can get there in plenty of time and find a parking space and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I had planned to get up like a lot earlier and get some bits and bobs done. We've got Noah this morning as well, so it would have been nice to have been able to spend a bit more time with him. But that's just how it's gone. So yes, I'm going to get dressed um, and then go and sort out some lunch, which just seems ridiculous considering I've only just had some breakfast. But I need to catch up with myself, so... Yeah, that's the plan for today. So despite it being a bit of a manic morning because I got up too late, um, I've actually made it to the hospital. Thankfully, it's like a little community hospital that it's at, so you don't have to pay for parking or anything. Um, although the car park is quite small, which is why I wanted to get here early, but I've actually managed to find a space like first, like when I first came in, so I'm quite happy about that. Um, so yeah, I'm here. So basically, this is for... Um, a course with the physiotherapists and it's called pain management and tai chi for fibromyalgia but it's not just for people who have fibromyalgia because i don't have fibromyalgia so um yeah i it's my first week so i'm not 100 percent sure what's going to happen but um i think it's just sort of like some like little bits of exercise like very very like obviously like tai chi style exercise and also talking about like pain management and things like that so i'm hoping it'll be interesting um but yeah, it, I've got like 20 minutes until it starts, but I have brought a book. So um, I'm going to go in, I think, and just sit in the waiting room and read my book until it starts. And then I can tell you about it when I come out. What is this? <laughs> I've definitely got new hair coming in because I do not have a fringe cut in. And this is just getting ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm back from the hospital. Um, so basically the group is called Tai Chi for fibromyalgia. So everybody else there had fibromyalgia. And um, one of like the, well, so basically we did some Tai Chi first, which sounds a bit like hippy dippy, but actually I think it's quite good because it's just like mindful movement. And if you are if you struggle with things like exercise and like normal movement, just doing things like quite slowly, but mind, like doing it mindfully and stuff, um, and just practicing it is actually i think it's quite helpful um and they don't it's not like focused on like exercise and they're like you know if you need to sit down or if you need to stop you can do it it doesn't matter how much you do so they're quite like accommodating um and then the next bit is like an education bit and for this week we were talking about what is fibromyalgia so i felt a little bit <laughs> left out because you know we had to like go into groups and talk about what fibromyalgia was and how it affects us and stuff and I was like well I don't actually have fibromyalgia <laughs> so they were like oh okay what are you doing here um so then like when we all came back together again and they were, we were like people were like saying what like symptoms and stuff you get with fibromyalgia and what it is um the guy that was running the physio that was running it obviously knows that I don't have fibro and he kind of just like looked at me and I was like, yeah, I was like, I don't have fibromyalgia. And he was like, okay, do you want to tell us why you're here? So I was like, well, I've got Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It, it kind of has some similarities with symptoms, you know, with like pain and stuff. Um, and so that's why I'm here because they don't have a group for people with EDS. So I'm here. Um, which is fine and there are similarities with like the whole like chronic pain and fatigue and things like that um but i did feel a little bit like when they were he was asking people to like say like symptoms they get and how it affects them i didn't really know if i could contribute because i don't know which of my symptoms would be similar to those with the people with fibromyalgia because obviously i don't have it and a lot of my symptoms, obviously they come from my EDS, but they come from my POTS, my gastroparesis, all these different things. So I kind of just kept quiet because I was like, if I start contributing symptoms and everyone's like, no, we don't get that. Um, I thought it would be a little bit awkward. So yeah, we did that. Um, and then um, we did like a breathing exercise thing at the end and yeah then I came home it's definitely got warmer which is possibly why my hair's going a bit crazy I think these bits were like probably hidden before but because it's going all frizzy they're coming out um and now I'm home I think I'm gonna have 
well I might have a little bit of a rest but I also want to try and do a little bit more editing to my weekly vlog um, and mum's just come through the door with a massive Primark bag <laughs> Who? Rosie's. Oh, it's Rosie's, okay. I just wonder where you were, because your car was here and I got very confused. Um, anyway, I'm gonna head off to have a little bit of a rest and do some more of this editing, and then I'll probably talk to you a bit later. Oh, so it is another hot one today, actually. I think it's gonna be like 28 degrees, so it looks like we're kind of getting another little bit of summer before autumn comes round. Um, anyway, I've had quite a quiet morning. Um, I slept again until fairly late and have just been relaxed, chilled out, watching a bit of TV, the kind of things you're meant to do on a Saturday morning. Um, but I'm dressed now, I've got my contact lenses in and after lunch I'm going to go and have my hair cut so that should be quite nice. Although I always seem to manage to pick days to go and have my hair done when it's like really hot and they don't have like aircon or anything in the salon. so. I just sit there like melting but hopefully well at least I'm not gonna be there too long like last time was like really hot and I was having my hair dyed and yeah that got a bit much but having it cut hopefully well doesn't usually take that long um so yeah that's that's the plans for today I haven't really got much on apart from that um I just want to um so I finished editing my weekly vlog yesterday so I need to export it and upload it. I don't know if I'm going to get both done now, but I'm going to get it exported anyway, and then I can always upload it when I get home from the hairdressers. Um, so yes, I need to get on with doing that. I always think I look really different without my glasses on. I'm so used to wearing them now that whenever I put contacts in, I don't know, I just look, I don't look like me. Um, but yeah, I hate wearing glasses to the hairdressers because they just get in the way. Anyway, I have left my weekly vlog exporting. I had to move some more stuff off my disc because it had got full so it wouldn't export um so while it's been exporting um i thought i'd start editing the photos that i took of david and emma when i did their pregnancy photos because it's been a while so i need to do them i also still need to sort out Noah's christening photos um because i just realized that i haven't actually done them and given them to Lisa. <clears throat> but anyway it's 20 past one now and my appointment's at half past two so I thought I ought to come downstairs and get some lunch. Um, so yeah, not going to have anything very exciting because I'm going to eat later, but I thought I'd just get that sorted now so that I'm not rushing before I have to go out. I can't see how this is comfortable. He's sat on the arm of the chair with his front legs down on my knee. I'm just back from having my hair cut. So yeah, feels nice. Um, feels a bit lighter. I know I haven't had that much cut off actually, but it's the only time I ever wear it down these days is after I've had it cut. Um, but yeah, it was nice having my head massaged and everything. I could easily just stay there all day and have that done. Um, I've booked in to have it coloured at the end of September, so I'm going to go a little bit longer, so the roots are probably going to look terrible. But I thought if I waited then, it would look nice for my birthday. So I'm just going to have to put up with bad roots. Um, but yes, I'm home now, I've got my glasses back on, so I feel a bit more like me. Um, and I'm going to go and upload my weekly vlog. Hopefully it's exported this time and it hasn't failed. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get that uploaded. Then I need to wrap up a present and then I'll see what the time is and decide what I'm going to do then. treat myself to an ice lolly as it's a hot day and I'm sitting down to relax sorry telling me to take my medication um, so I've gone for one of these strawberry ones this time so if you've watched a while you'll know that I love the watermelon ones um, but we also decided to get some of these strawberry ones and they are really cute <laughs> they're like little diddy ones Rosie's giving me weird looks but look it's a little strawberry ice lolly um, so looking forward to tucking into this so we've decided to watch film this evening and we're going to watch this one which is on Netflix called Dumpling. I 
think it's um, based on a book. Oh yeah, Julia Murphy's best-selling young adult novel. Um, and it's got Jennifer Aniston in it and Dolly Parton music and Rosie's chosen it. So this is what we're watching. Good afternoon, I am back from church now and I've just finished sorting out my pills for next week, which is always a task. Um, takes a while to get all that done, but that's finished. I don't think I told you what I thought of the film last night. So we saw a film on Netflix called Dumpling. Um, I think it's like a Netflix film. I think that's the only place you can see it. Um, it had Jennifer Aniston in it. I think she was the only actress that I knew. Um, and yeah, it was quite a nice film, like quite a sort of like feel good, like girly type film. Um, nothing kind of like groundbreaking or anything, but like it was nice to watch, like didn't have to concentrate too much. There was good music because it was all like Dolly Parton music. Um, and yeah, it was nice. It was like a little bit slow in places, but it was one of those films you can just put on, relax, not not sort of like concentrate and have to try and follow it particularly like well or anything it just sort of happens um and yeah it had a nice ending and yeah so it was a nice film i'd recommend giving it a watch if you've got netflix um but now i think i'm gonna get some lunch because i'm gonna go over to see my friend sarah and her children because they're back for bank holiday weekend and i've got charlie's presents and stuff um, but I need to have some lunch first and then head over there, so yes, I'm not really massively hungry, but I need to have a little something. We're having like a little barbecue this evening um, instead of a roast, so I don't need anything massive. I just need something to keep me going until then. Good evening. Sorry about the weird lighting up here. Um, I can't remember when I last spoke to you. I think it was when I got back from church. So yeah, this afternoon um, I went over to see my friend Sarah and her two little ones, which was nice. Gave Charlie his presents, which he seemed to really like, and had some baby cuddles and just chatted, which was good. We went to see, like, can't remember the last time I saw her, so it was quite nice to just chat and yeah, relax a bit. Um, and yeah, now it's like nearly bedtime, so I thought I would come on and end the vlog and say goodbye so i hope you have enjoyed this week's vlog if you have and you want to see more videos from me please do give me a like and subscribe to my channel leave me a comment as well let me know what you've been up to this week and let me know if there's any other videos that you would like to see and i will see you all in my next video very soon bye <laughs>